95% of COVID deaths in England last year were amongst the vaccinated, as confirmed in a report published by the Office for National Statistics. In this video, we will take a deeper look into the deaths by vaccination status, including breaking down the statistics by age group, by number of vaccine doses, and also look at the all-cause age standardised mortality rates. All the data discussed is from official government sources with full links provided in the description below. The Office for National Statistics published death by vaccination status data for England during the pandemic years. The findings are very interesting. From the 1st of April 2021 to the 31st of May 2023, England reported 55,206 deaths with COVID-19. 48,370 of those deaths were amongst the vaccinated, which is 87.6%. 6,836 were amongst the unvaccinated, only 12.4%. By the time we got into 2023, over 95% of the COVID deaths in England were amongst the vaccinated. These figures were surprising even to me, and whilst you might expect there to be a few breakthrough cases of COVID deaths amongst the vaccinated, if the vaccine really works to prevent serious illness and death, then you would not expect there to be 48,000 COVID deaths amongst the vaccinated in England alone. In October 2021, Prime Minister Boris Johnson addressed the nation, making the admission that the vaccines did not prevent infection or onward transmission, but he reiterated the claim that the vaccine provided protection against serious illness and death. The double vaccination provides a lot of protection against uh, serious illness and death, but it doesn't uh, protect you against catching the disease and it doesn't, uh, doesn't protect, protect you against passing it on. So yes. now is the time to get your booster. Some commentators would make the claim that vaccination rates were as high as 95% and therefore you might expect 95% of COVID deaths to be amongst the vaccinated. In reality, however, vaccination uptake in England was nowhere near as high as 95%. The UK Health Security Agency published vaccination figures confirming that 73% took dose 1 and only 70% took dose 2. NHS data also corroborated with the UK Health Security Agency data with the National Immunisation Management System records for vaccinations confirming that 78% took dose 1, 74% took dose 2, 58% took the first booster. The base rate fallacy claim was in itself a fallacy. Whilst the absolute figures give us a valuable insight into the vaccine effectiveness, the gold standard for reviewing mortality stats is to utilise the age standardised mortality rates which take account of age and population scale within the data. The ONS death by vaccination status provides us with all cause age standardised mortality rates per 100,000 person years by vaccination status. The results are as shown. The unvaccinated shown in blue had lower all cause age standardised mortality rates than almost all of the vaccinated cohorts. One dose vaccination shown in yellow and two dose vaccination shown in green had consistently higher mortality rates than the unvaccinated. Three dose vaccinated, shown in red, were initially lower than unvaccinated mortality rates. However, this flipped by April 2022 when the boosted had higher mortality rates than the unvaccinated. We see a similar pattern with the four dose vaccinated, shown in purple. However, we do see marginally lower mortality rates amongst the four dose vaccinated as we went into early 2023. Worth noting, however, that the ONS do not provide any data for dose 5 and above. The current winter 2024 vaccine campaign is underway, seeing the over 70s receive their 10th number COVID vaccine since vaccination began in December 2020. In conclusion, the Office for National Statistics no longer publishes the death by vaccination status data. You can make up your own mind as to why that is. We were initially and the MHRA that the COVID vaccines were over 90% effective. The leader of the free world, US President Joe Biden, even told us that If you're vaccinated, you're not going to be hospitalized, you're not going to be in an ICU unit, 
and you're not going to die. You're okay. You're not going to you're not going to get COVID if you have these vaccinations. Yeah. Safe and effective, they told us. 48,000 COVID deaths amongst the vaccinated, 95% of COVID deaths amongst the vaccinated in 2023. All based on official data published by the NHS, the UK Health Security Agency and the government's Office for National Statistics. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great new year.